Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the solar truth lies within, and now you're going to listen to the twelfth day. I mean, not the twelfth day, the eleventh day actually. Yeah. Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the solar truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the eleventh day of a quarterly blessing, where Supreme God Father wants us to die alive. What does that mean? Well, how can you die if you're alive? Well, you're living in this world, but your desires from this world are dead. then we ex- understand that the lesser we have desires from this old kaliyugi world the more happier and content we are and more stable we are let's explore that baba says may you truly die alive by dying alive to any attraction of the old world and old sanskars old sanskars means old habits we must be having certain habits of desires of wants of name and fame of or desires from our family members desires from the government desires from the city from the company where we working god says don't have any more desires and you'll be more than happy that means you are dead in terms of your desires from the people and the old world what can you expect when other people are not content themselves when other people are not happy themselves and you expect them to make you happy give you love give you peace give you attention when they themselves are seeking attention isn't that something which we understand already so what do we do in such situations let's explore that baba says to truly die alive means to die to the old world and the old habits or sanskars in your thoughts and dreams for all time not just once but for all time it's not that okay this person did not fulfill my expectations let me go to some somebody else that's not then you'll be moving from one person to another not being able to be stable not feeling contented not feeling whole within yourself to die means to transform transform our habits our way of thinking because any person who's content within can live anywhere can live with anybody and be in any situation and still be like a lotus and not feel anything then god says no attraction can pull such souls such souls would never say what can i do i didn't want to i didn't want to say this i didn't want to react this way but it happened some children die alive and then become live again that means they suppress their desires for this world with knowledge with the love of god they able to suppress it not by force just because they're getting love appreciation and power from god so they don't expect it from the worldly people from world around them rather they will to give them instead of expecting from them and feeling discontented god says some children die alive and then become alive again that means again their desires again their wants again their old habits come back when one head of ravan is cut if you would have must have seen that when one head of ravan is cut that means ego is cut or let's say you have greed within your soul and you suppress your greed what comes over ego that i have suppressed my greed ego that i have suppressed my greed comes over so god says that there are so many other heads which spring up how do we do then what do we do then so if it is when you finish her foundation that maya will not change her form and attack you maya over here is greed ego jealousy lust anger so you suppress anger but in your mind you have ego that you have suppressed anger and you have gone over anger but actually it is just suppressed it again comes back so that means one head you suppress the other head comes over ego becomes larger so god says the method for removing that is to die alive and not have any expectations from people of this world old world kaliyug means an old world right and from this old world from things even our body is physically old so if you desire that this body is going to make you feel always contented and you won't have any back pain tomorrow or day after tomorrow or you won't have any kind of ailment then that expectation is also going to make us again have ego discontentment anger or any form of negativity within us how do we become like that how do we die alive that means live in this world and not have any expectation from the old world and people around us is what we learn in brahma kumaris in detail you can take the course and you too can learn this knowledge for free with this om shanti